Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the Adidas 2016-2017 Bundesliga official match ball in the regular and winter ball colorways, also known as the Torfa Brick. At least that's how I think you say it. That's what it says on the box. I'm reading it exactly as it's spelled out. Nonetheless, here is a look at the actual box. It's the same for both balls. You can see it says Torfa Brick there on the top. It has official match ball for the 2016-2017 season in German, English, as well as French. You got official logos and just general graphics that you'll find on the ball itself located all over the box. But that's enough about the box. We'll open it up and take a closer look at both the regular and winter ball variations. So this is, of course, the top end match ball from Adidas. It's a Brazooka variant, and because it is a Brazooka variant, it shares the Brazooka price tag of $160 US, which is quite expensive. With that being said, the Bundesliga match ball is not sold in the US. It's available in the UK, as well as most of Europe. Obviously, in Germany, it's available. Uh, but if you are interested in one of these for yourself, you can check out the review page on my website. There'll be a little pop-up on screen, or you can click the first link down below in the description. And on that page, you will find Buy It Now links, where you can pick up these balls, either the regular or the winter ball variation, for $127 US. So under the retail price, buy about 30 bucks, and shipping is fairly reasonable to North America if you are in Canada or the US. And it's a pretty unique ball to have over here. It's not something that you're going to see every day. You'll likely be the only one at the field with a Bundesliga ball. And I think this year in particular, it actually looks pretty good. So as you guys can see, as far as the graphics go, it does share the same kind of graphic style that we saw originally on the Bogia Euro 2016 ball, where you have these little kind of, I guess they're not rectangles. They are, uh, I don't know what the shape is. It's it's been a while, but nonetheless, you guys get the idea of what I'm talking about. And in each of these panels, there's kind of a different scene depicted in an actual game. You can see the crowd there waving flags. You have a trophy right there. Uh, you've got a guy striking the ball with a pair of Adidas shoes, which is convenient because this is an Adidas ball. Uh, you've got somebody celebrating a goal, I believe. Here's some other scenes right here. That looks like a free kick is about to take place. But anyways, I think that's all the different panels and you have them on the orange ball as well. But instead of the accent color being red, it's blue. Uh, you have the Bundesliga branding there on the front, the Adidas logo. It does say official match ball with the Torfa brick name. They do have the FIFA approved stamp as well. And aside from that, one is orange, one is white. White is what's going to be used predominantly uh, throughout the entire season. Again, with the winter balls from Adidas, they're very, very rarely used based on what I've seen. Uh, but they are quite cool and extremely bright in person. Again, if you're looking for something that is just a little bit more unique, they sell a lot less of the winter ball variation than they do of the standard white one. So it's really up to you as to which one you prefer. As far as the performance of the ball itself is concerned, you really do get what you pay for when it comes to official match balls. They're very expensive but they are very good. This does feature the Brazooka design. So you have a six panel design where these panels are kind of X shaped. It's all fused together. There's no stitching whatsoever. It's perfectly round, very well balanced ball. It has a very even strike to it, meaning that no matter what part of your foot makes contact with the ball, the feel is very, very consistent. This ball flies through the air pretty quickly. And if you like to hit knuckle balls and stuff like that, this does have a little bit more kind of unpredictability to its flight path in comparison to other match balls out there. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of people do like this particular kind of Brazooka style variant that we originally saw introduced in the 2014 World Cup. So it does have the dimpled texturing, of course, uh, it doesn't absorb any water, and it does have I guess kind of a medium weighted feel to it, not too heavy, not too light, but it does feel quite solid when it does have regulation air in it. So just keep that in mind. But nonetheless, very good ball. Again, you do get what you pay for. I really wouldn't say that any single match ball at the $150, $160 price point is the best. They're all quite good. It's just a matter of what you want and kind of what look that you're going for because they all perform well. They just have their own unique little quirks. But that's pretty much it for my review. Let me know what you guys think of this ball down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, leave them down below as well, and I definitely will get an answer out to you. Again, if you are interested in one of these for yourself, you can click the little eye on screen or click the very first link down below in the description. It'll take you to the review page, and on that page, you will find Buy It Now links for both of these balls at $127 US. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be 
sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks for watching.